For this video, I'm going to explain the difference between a print the cut project and a cut project. These are both images that I found online and uploaded to Cricut Design Space, but there's two very different ways to save images when you upload them to Cricut Design Space. And really, you have to think about how you want to use the image before you start uploading things. So let's just talk about these two images. If I click on this one, I can see that it's set up for a print then cut image. And I can see that in my layers panel right here. I can also see that on the top bar up here where it says fill, it's print. And there's a little preview of my Trojan. So this one has two layers. There is a gold layer and a burgundy layer. They're both set up as cut. Do you see the difference between the print and cut has one layer while the cut image has a layer for every color. So there's the first difference. And now I'm gonna show you how I created these images. So first I'm gonna show you how to set up a print then cut image. Okay, so we are going to click on upload and navigate to where we saved our image. And now, because this image has two colors in it, I'm gonna select the moderately complex. I typically just choose simple when it's a black and white image, kind of a coloring book style. Um, and complex is when there's a lot of detail. So let's go right in the middle at moderately complex and go continue. Now this step, we typically would remove the background. And when you remove a background, the white, it turns it to a checkerboard, but you can see this image that I picked already had a transparent background. So I don't even need to do that step. If I did, I would click on the magic wand and just click the white background. But now I can preview this. And this preview shows me that this darkened shape is exactly where the Cricut's gonna cut. But because we're doing print then cut, it's gonna print out from my home printer this image, and then the Cricut is gonna cut that shape. All right, let's con click continue. Here, because I'm doing a print then cut is where I wanna select this image. It's got a little printer icon, and it says save as print then cut image. So I am gonna name this USC and print then cut, so that I remember the difference. And now I'm gonna save. And now it's right here in my recently uploaded, and I can insert that image into Cricut Design Space. And then I can print it on my home printer and cut it on the Cricut. Now, what if we wanted to make that same image, but turn it into a cut file so that we could cut it from layers, either from cardstock or maybe from vinyl. So this is how you would have to do it for that. We're gonna upload and upload image, and we're gonna click on the same image. Again, it's a moderately complex, it's got two colors. So I'm gonna click moderately complex, and now I'm gonna continue. So now if we really look at this image, if we made the whole background piece the gold color, we could then cut a second piece to be this burgundy to layer over it. So I am just going to use the image as it is and go continue. But this time I'm going to save it as a cut image. And I'm going to call this USC and have it be the gold layer. And now I'm going to save that. And that's saved right here. So now we have to create the burgundy layer. So I'm gonna upload, browse again, click on the same image, moderately complex, and go continue. But now I'm gonna remove the gold. So I'm gonna click on the magic wand, and every place I see gold, remove it. Okay, so now when I preview it, it looks like this. So now I'm gonna go continue, 
let's make sure I save it as a cut image. And this is going to be the burgundy layer. Okay, so now you can see I have both of them here in my upload. So I'm going to select both of them and insert the image. And it brought them in overlapping each other, which is fine. Because now I'm going to separate them. And I'm going to click on this one, which I already decided was going to be my gold layer. And then this layer is going to be my burgundy. And now I'm going to zoom up a little bit more. And I'm just going to place one on top of the other. And now I have a two layered image that can be cut from cardstock or vinyl. So next, we're going to show you how to cut these out. First, we're going to make the print and cut image. Since I have both of these images on my canvas, I'm going to use the little eyeball icon to turn off the cutting image. Now it's hidden and the Cricut will only make what is visible on the Design Space canvas. So I'm going to click Make It. It's going to show me a preview of how this is going to print out. And this is showing the registration mark that we're going to need for cutting. And now I'm going to continue. And it's asking me to send this to my printer, which I'm going to do now. Make sure you have your printer selected, how many copies. Now let's talk about the bleed real quick. Bleed makes your outer edge of the image a little thicker so that if your cutting line isn't exactly on, it will kind of fade into that. Um, I am going to turn my bleed off actually. And now we're going to print. So now we've placed the cardstock with the printed out image on our Cricut cutting mat. And I'm going to make sure my Cricut is set for cardstock and load it into the machine. And now we'll start having the Cricut scan it. The reason it pulls the mat all the way in is it has to scan the entire sheet to kind of figure out the placement. And now you can see it's reading the registration marks so that I can know exactly where to cut. So it precisely will cut around just this image. So now let's make the two layered cut image. So because I just want to make this cut image, I am going to turn off the print and cut. And to do that, again, I'm just going to hide it by turning off the little eyeball next to the, the layer. I really like this hide feature because now I can keep both of these images, which are of the same thing, in the same file. And just depending on what I'm using it for, I turn on and off what I need. So now when I click make it, you will see that the Cricut automatically divides the two separate layers into two separate mats. And first it's going to want to cut the burgundy color and then it's going to cut the gold. So I'm going to click continue and we'll get started making that. So now we're going to load the burgundy paper into our Cricut first. And cut. So here's another tip for you. If you're only cutting two colors, instead of removing this piece from the mat, I'm going to just rotate my mat around and then place my second sheet of cardstock this way. So now it's going to cut back in this corner 
and I don't have to worry about any of those little pieces getting lost when I take them off the mat. And now we're ready to cut the gold. Okay, first I'm going to remove the gold because that's going to be my background. Then I'm just going to turn this around so that I can start by taking the largest piece of this image off. And there's a little piece that came out of the center. We'll just move that there. And now I can line that up. And now I like to use a Zig two-way pen. This is a glue pen and you just shake it up and then the glue dispenses from the chisel tip. Kind of color it into all those little areas. This lets me get more precise with my glue placement. You can also use a tape runner, but for these curved pieces, and especially for little pieces, I like to use the two-way pen. Here's the other reason the two-way pen is nice. When you go to place it, it's not a hard stick. It kind of gives you a little fudge room where you can adjust things if you don't stick it perfectly the first time. So now I'm just lining it up and smoothing it down. Now we just have to move these little tiny pieces. Sometimes I like to use a pin to kind of hold down these little pieces and maybe even scooch them into position a little bit better. Sometimes just scooching with your thumb works good too. But that's also why I use the two-way glue because it's tacky enough that I can stick it but not a hard stick. So here you see the finished project side by side. Print and cut versus just cut. Print and cut was on white cardstock and then the cut file was two layers of colored cardstock. You could also do this out of vinyl and you could then press the gold vinyl down on a shirt or a bag first and then the burgundy. I hope this helped you to understand the difference between print and cut projects and cut only projects. Make sure to like this video, leave me any comments with questions you have, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks!